gosh, we're rolling. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. twist on it. Absolutely. Why wouldn't we? We must. It's what we do. We're nudies. Obviously Vermentino. So usually Vermentino is from Sardinia or Tuscany and France, but like we're not going to talk about them because we're Italians. Italians. <laughs> but this Vermentino is actually made in Riverland, Australia. Twist. I know. What a twist. So Riverland is just east of Adelaide. Okay. And it has a nice kind of like seaside climate. So basically we get a lot of the nice bright citrus. We also get some salinity. And uh, Delinquente is the maker of this wine. It's organic. It is stainless steel fermentation and they age the grapes on its lees, so on its yeast, to give it some nice texture. So it's totally stainless steel, but it's going to be like a medium body because it has that aging with the skins. Interesting. Lees. So you said they age it on its lees? On its lees, which is L-E-E-S. Oh. On its lees. Get on your lees. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Okay. And beg for forgiveness. Beg for Fermentino. <laughs> oh, so I'm super excited about this. Dealing Quinty does all Italian varietals, but in Australia, and it's all small batch. I think they're onto something. So on top of that, they also have really cool face tattoos on this woman on the bottle. This is Screaming Betty. It might be Post Malone. <laughs> and it made me think of my brother, because he has his head tattooed. He sure does. Beautiful man. Shout out to this Dan. This goes out to you, Dan. I think I'm ready to crack it open. I mean, we love Vermentinos, I think because of the citrus and the salinity. Yes. Always really nice with seafood and really nice with food on the grill, because it usually has a medium body. So speaking of food on the grill. What are we grilling today? We are doing a very special 4th of July or just like any backyard barbecue party. This is our suggestion to you. These are two really easy dishes you can make if you're entertaining. It allows you to spend time with your guests. I mean, that's kind of our Italian summer vibe. That's actually our life vibe. Yeah, whole life vibe. How can you eat and hang out and drink and not be stressed? Just be Italian about it. Gotta have a glass of Vermentino. I'm uh, itching for a sip. I'm gonna be a screaming Betty in a minute. Cheers. Thank you. I mean, mm. fabulous. It's super delicious. It's like almost tropical, but it doesn't like wash right over you like a Pinot Grigio or something. That's Pinot like Grigio. I was just gonna say Pinot Grigio eats your heart out. In your face. Step aside. Vermentino is here to stay. You guys need to run out to the store right now. And get yourself some Vermentino. You do. It's delicious. You Underrated. have a little bit of orange peel. We got some lemon citrus vibes going. Stone fruit, peach. I would say like a small hint of white grapefruit. Mm -hmm. But that's the fun of tasting wine. You just get to decide what you taste, and it's not wrong. You're not wrong because it's your mouth. <laughs> go-to. Backyard BBQ go-to. Yes. And in this case, it's 4th of July weekend, so we're doing it for 4th of July. Party of two. We are. Gotcha. Party of two for now. Mm -hmm. You never know who might wander over when we have snacks. So we're doing two things. Two very important things. Very important things. We have a meat element and we have a salad element. But uh, main ingredient in the salad? Bread. Okay, tell me about the sausages that you procured today. We got a hot Italian sausage and we got a sweet Italian sausage because we like to have variety. Hot Italian summer, we're doing hot Italian sausage. What we say is hot girl summer, we ain't talking about degrees. Oh. Taylor always thinks I'm gonna say hot Italian sausage. 
whenever I say hot Italian summer. So we're finally bringing her uh, dreams to life. I went to Valley Farm Market. So I went to the butcher shop and they have all kinds of really amazing meats. I always thoroughly enjoy shopping there whenever I get to do it. We can do it more. I know, we're gonna go and see you more. We, we eat so much seafood. Yeah, we do. We're lovers of the sea. Sometimes we put the red meat and whatever on the back burner, but that's changing today. So what are we gonna do with all, the, all that junk inside your trunk? And we're gonna set the grill to 425 and throw it all on the grill. So you're gonna have uh, the nice, like rich, fatty, juiciness of the sausage. You're gonna have bright note, which is the segmented orange, and then some savories, obviously the herbs and the onion and fennel, a little bit of brightness, aid with the digestion of the super fatty sausage. I'm always looking for a reason to eat fennel. I'm always looking for a reason to eat sausage. We're perfect there. Then we're making a bread salad. It's called panzanella. You might have heard of it once or twice. While we have the oven on, or the grill on, we thought it'd be kind of fun and a cool nudie twist to grill our bread. Yeah, so we're gonna grill the bread. Um, that's the only little twist on it. Otherwise, a super classic recipe, which we've been doing a lot of. So this recipe, we're gonna do kind of a Tuscan style panzanella. Uh, panzanella comes from the term pan lavado, which what means, that means, I think it means washed bread, soaked bread, ponds like washed lavato. bread. So soaked in liquid, right? So we're gonna grill the bread, we're gonna soak it in some delicious liquid and then mix it with a bunch of herbs, cucumbers, capers, and you know that we could knock it down without cheese. So we have some baby mozzarella balls right here. If we don't eat them all. I've had like 10. And if you don't have a grill, all this can be done in your yeah. own. That's it. That's it. Want to watch us cook now or what? That's it. Leave us alone. What do they smell like, you ask? Vermentino. Roses. <laughs> so I got a hint of Vermentino. So first things first, we're gonna give this a nice little drizz. Cause that's what panzanella is all about. Pan. Are you saying pan? Means bread, lavado. Baby, I'm sorry. It means freaking wash your bread and soak it and trench it. Freaking wash and soak it. <laughs> kissy kissy boo boo. Just freaking do it. Like Picasso. Freaking grill master, grilling and chilling. Ooh, it dropped 250. Damn. Let's pump up the volume just a little bit more. Pump it up a little more, get the party going on the dance floor. So, step one. So here at the casino, cash I'm collecting chips. all my chips. Name one thing that's better than grilled bread. Grilled sausages. Okay, well, that was easy. So we've got our lovely bread. Now, we have some of our tomato liquid here in this orange bowl. I salted the tomatoes before. They naturally did their thing. Now I'm gonna add in two tablespoons red wine vinegar. Very important for this red wine vinegar because you want that taste. Garlic, shallots, and that vinegar first. Even if it's just a couple seconds before, I like having that in before so I can sit for a second. Have a sponge, swish it around, let it get saturated. Maybe two teaspoons. Get that in there. Kind of creating with a little vinaigrette. And we'll go half cup of the chicken olive oil. Swish, flash. Um, Capers. It's about a tablespoon of capers. Sound oh, effects. Yeah. Boop. I'm gonna do a sprinkle. A hearty pinch. <laughs> yeah. It's another slam poetry. Emulsified. It's a vibe. And it goes really well with wine. Take us to the wine. So we do perfect pairings over here at Nudie HQ. What's next? Let's go tomatoes. Tom's Fest. Cukes. I'm gonna do most of these. Torn basil. Some of the parsley. This is the most beautiful salad I've ever seen. Hands are your best too. This is important to soak all the bread. Oh, that looks really nice. So nice. So the idea would be to do this and then go grill and then come back and it's all done. That's the idea and that's what we're doing. This is pretty gorgeous already. And it's gonna get even juicier. We're activating our tomatoes again. You want like a paddle boarding, wakes up at 6 a.m. kind of tomato. That TLC song, No Scrubs, was actually about tomatoes. I'm very happy with that. One more, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have one more. This needs to sit for 30 minutes where? Anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere we want. Maybe just like Just not in the, the sun. sun. Wait, so just because we have the worst luck ever, let's spray this again. Show me the fire. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So 
gonna pierce these. Slice it so we get nice, clean, long slices because we live on the bottom of the platter. I'm gonna have a sip of vermentino after that. Well, it's gonna be nice because when we put the hot sausage on top of the oranges, it's gonna get some nice, like, batty bits on the citrus. And the citrus is so nice and bright, it's gonna be quite a nice contrast. Oh, yeah, and so I'm supposed to just over the bowl because we want to catch the juices. We want to get rid of the membrane, but catch the juices. I know I'm cutting towards myself, don't worry. I'm gonna let her do what she wants to do and then be there if anything happens. <laughs> Sausages, fennel, segmented orange, rosemary, red onion. Happy Fourth of July. Without further ado. Mm -hmm. The orange really soaked into the sausage. Spicy and citrusy and oh my god. Mmm! Right? Yeah. This one is one for the books. It'll make you salsa dance. I'm in love. Put a fork in it. This is the type of backyard barbecue I want you to invite me over to. Mm hmm That's it. That's all you need to have the perfect summer barbecue. Two dishes. You could probably make mm -hmm. this. Hour. All together. One hour. Done. I can't. Pairs perfectly with vermentino. I've blown myself away. You've blown me away. Oh, guys. Until next go. time. We gotta go because we have a lot of food to eat. So, number one. Bread needs to be stale or dry or whatever. Are you stale? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks for testing it. That's generally how you test it. You just ask it. It's super easy. 